Hi everybody, this is Sam with Python Basics, and we are going to learn about another method, another file object method called seek, and it is very, very handy. So we're going to be adding to our shopping list uh, function, but to be able to really do everything that we need to, we need to have a couple more skills. So all right, let's just get into it. So file. But most important, I want to make sure that everybody is clicking subscribe and most important, that notification bell because I don't want you guys getting lost or, all right, we're going to force this. We know that the mode already defaults to read, but we're going to have this here to say it explicitly. So, all right, let's do help. Um, on file dot seek, <clears throat> but we know about all this. So, all right, change the stream position. There it is, right there. So we know what that means. This is just a fancy way to say where the cursor is currently located. So when we open we have our file object and this is it it's going through our shopping list it's in read mode so all right we are going to and we know about tell from last video so we're going to see where the the cursor is it's at zero right so then we can run read on it and we get our list but now let's run tell to the end of the file at 86. So if I try to run read on it again, what's gonna happen? Was it zero, printed out the file, now it's at 86, the end of the file. So if I call read method, what should happen? It's an empty string. So to get it to go back, this is where we use seek. So beginning a file, that was an O, there we go, seek, and it'll spit out again where you wanted it, so let's check, tell, make absolutely sure, zero, file, dot read. I get, I get the same file again, because it, it goes back to the position. So this is super handy and we're going to be using this very, very soon because we're going to want to see our shopping list and check it, right? Okay, so this is the seek method on a file object and it is very, very handy and I want to make sure that you guys had this because I had a hard time finding these items and I want you to have one place one location to find everything that you want to know about Python, and this is it. So I want to tell everybody, thanks for watching. I love the comments. Thanks for all the support and all the subscriptions. Um, and please, please leave any comments, questions, or my absolute favorite, any video requests below, and I will get right to them. So thanks again for watching. Stay tuned, and we'll just keep going. Thanks, guys.